And then today, this is two days later, I've started. Now, Dad popped over. Anyone of the podcast knows he's never been on the podcast yet. Maybe we should try and get him on sometime. But he's not. He's not. He's not podcast material. He's not a chatter box. He's not. A, he's not a chat box. But oh, is he good? He's good at what he does. So Dad come over. We had a good old measure up. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of wood. But one of the things. So there's a budget. I don't even know if... Am I allowed to even say the budget? I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say the budget for this staycation. There's a budget. I'd say a pretty healthy budget. All right? And, um... I can't say. I don't know if I'm allowed to say. I wish we could. I'm going to message and just, and just check if we can. we got a budget. But the one thing I don't want to do is spend it all on... Wood and hard landscape and stuff. One of the things my garden's got plenty of is that. At the same time, I need to really create some cool spaces. So I'm thinking half and half of the budgets. Dad come over. We measured up uh, for the the wood for it. Uh, that we're going to get that this week. That's going to happen this week. Then we are going to build it the week after. But during that time. I need to clear the air. Now, that's what I've been doing for the last two days. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello. I may look a bit sweaty. I may look a bit hot. We've, uh, we, slash the royal we, I, <laughs> I have ripped down the old fencing. I'm going to get a new fencing along there, make it all look fresh. Uh, but also, we've got some blackberry slash brambly sort of things. Uh, basically, black blackberries. But they produce about four blackberries a year. And if they're, if I'm honest with you, they're a nuisance. They just grow. They're growing between me and my neighbour's garden. Uh, I'll get them well with my neighbour. And also, he's got a shed. So he never, doesn't even see it. So I'm spending some time clearing that area. And making sure that those don't carry on growing. Any tips would be great at the moment. I've got cutting them down to the floor. You can't cut, get the roots out. Because it's such an awkward spot. I can't really get the roots out. Some of them I have, but you can't get them all out. And uh, any tips would be great. I don't want you to put down um, like any poisons. I don't want you to put poisons down. Um, so clearing that, a bit of a boring job. I'll be honest with you, because I'm all about impact, and I'm I'm a bit. I get bored. I get so bored. I mean, half about. I'm about a, a day of time is spent just doing that bit that no one's gonna see. No, and it's not even on my really. It's not even on my side of the garden, but <laughs> but it affects me. No one's going to see it. No one. That's a bit boring. I've tried to get as much done as I can today, uh, but that is a bit boring. So we've done that. We've got rid of the fences, which is great. Uh, and now it gives me the chance this week to have a little shift round. If I should have brought a drink up with me, if we can stay hydrated, if I will get a sentence out, you ever get a veggie pod, you may have seen me hear about me talk about them before. If you ever get one of them or a truck or anything, put it on wheels. Put it on wheels. Veggie pods come with wheels, I think. Not sure how much I owe, a little bit extra for. for for the wheels, uh, the, the wooden trucks I've got don't come with wheels, uh, and they're pretty heavy, but I'm pretty sure you could probably put them on wheels. Put them on wheels. A lot of information coming out today in the second half of the podcast, because I cannot tell you how many times I've moved these trucks about. Now, this week, I'm moving the trucks. I'm a little bit worried because they weigh a ton, and usually it's just me just moving them. I once moved a veggie pod, actually it was quite easy, um, bit, bit hot and sweaty, from one end of the garden to another, although I did see them do it the other day, it looked very easy if you've got two people. Put them on wheels, because because they're raised bed, because they're not permanent, you probably will, if you're like me, change them about, move it around. This has got to be 20th time I've moved these veggie pods and trucks. 20th time, that's not even an exaggeration, 20th time. It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. So shift them around because I know that when Dad does come, he'll, 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 we're going to go and get the the wood 
this week um, and all the materials. But I know when Dad does come, he wants to clear. He even said to me, "This ain't gonna be in the way, is it?" I was like, "Well, actually, some of it is gonna be. Some of it is gonna be in the way, but I'll try and make it as easy as possible for you to to get in." 